Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Kenwood TL922. I'm going to go over everything in one sec. We're having internet problems here. That's why I haven't been posting videos. So once I get that straightened out, this video and the other ones will get posted. So Collins 301, that's all set. I uh, had an issue with that, uh, with the, not the amp, but actually, well, it caused issues, a tube issue, and then it created problems with, within the amp. So th that's all set. And I'll show everything I did with that. Uh, I already did videos on that. So uh, waiting on tubes because I always test with the customer's tubes. So I test with said tubes and I test with their tubes because I want to make sure that, you know, their tubes are okay. So it leaves no, no, so they don't have a, you know, because all the tubes are made in China nowadays. So I'm just very, very, you know, thorough. So that one, this one's all set waiting on tubes, you know, so. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything with this. Uh, needs new air variable. Luckily, I have one. It is very badly pitted on this plate here and also the plate next to it. It's hard to see through the camera. See, it's all black over there. So, and the load side's actually damaged also. That very seldom ever happens. I think I've had to change one out of the 600 plus 922s. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace both. Luckily, I have one of these. I have two of these. Keep them in stock for customers. Uh, someone tried to do the 10 meter mod. They did not put the jumper on the band switch. They did not reconfigure the input circuit. They just took the screw out so it would go to 10 meters. Uh, play current meter is okay. I noticed the hole in the relay over here for the delay off circuit. I'll make sure that's functioning. They may have just done that to clean it or maybe they hit it with a soldering iron. I don't know if they were over here for something. Turn it on. The Filament transformer is okay. It's missing the high voltage interlock over here. The crowbar circuit. Plate choke's okay. It was missing the parasitic suppressor, so I'll add those. He did provide the anode caps. So I'll add the glitch resistor. We'll do all the mods to it. And uh, band switch looks okay. Grid chokes look okay, so it didn't have a tube flash and plate to the grid, but I'm going to take that out anyway because I, I ground the grids with a strap. So it's wired for 120. Nice amp. Very clean, very careful here when I work on amplifiers. So I'm going to get to work. This thing needs a lot of work. But uh, I love these amps. This is my favorite amp. So he's ordering a set of tubes from Penta. Matched pair of three 500Zs. Waiting on lots of 572s. Three matched quads. And I have more amps in the boxes. SB200 here. That's all set. Um, Another amp over there, more amps over here, more coming. Keep them coming. Like as you can see, I'm working on one amp a day. And next week, I am working on the power supply for sure. For the 6 meter amp, I have the wood to reinforce the cabinet. Went and got that. Uh, yeah, I know it's getting a little crowded in here, but an empty bench is a non-busy bench. So as you can see, I am full bore over here and I don't play around so I will be back and once again it's amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119 I will see you guys very soon Stay. the capacitors have been removed with the load side removed makes it a lot easier to add the conductor for the 10 meter mod see it's all out of here got the brand new ones over here nice and clean it's my last one on the, of the plate side. If anyone has clean ones for sale, the plate or the load, please contact me. I will buy them to have in stock. Here are the old ones. So I have to remove the plate blocker from it and transfer it over to the other one. So I'm going to get back to work. See you. Hey everybody, Amp Repair Guy. I am back with the completed amplifier. New air variables, put the jumper on the band switch, put in the stock parasitic suppressors, serious glitch resistor, safety diode for the plate current meter, zip tied all the wiring, put the strap in, so you have less, so there's less inductance between the plate blocking cap and the tube anodes. So I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. 
Be right back. So I fixed the input circuits, now it works on 10 meters. Did the low inductance mod. One of the padding caps was damaged, so I replaced it, grounded the grids the proper way, did the self-bias modification, changed the electrolytic capsule when it changed it, put in the wrong value, changed the zener, it was shorted, changed the diode over here, that was shorted, so brand new. What else did I do? I think that's about it. Also clean the TR relay with the oxygold. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Working on a lot of amplifiers over here, but getting one done a day. And I want to get this done. It's Friday, so I can get right on the 6 meter power supply Monday. I'm waiting on tubes, it's got a new set of Pentalab tubes. So like I said, I'm going to test it with the customer's tubes also. And uh, just waiting on lots of tubes here. And uh, by the time I, I work on the 6 meter power supply, and then I'll have all the tubes test everything with their tubes real quick, get, get these all out of here, and I'll put more on my bench. So, like I said, if you need an amp repaired, give me a call. I love working on amps. I just love it. I'm very thorough. And... Uh, you know, I don't cut any corners. So, one amp a day, getting them done. So, thanks for watching. Once again, ampreparguy.com, 203-892-4119. Thanks again for watching. 73.